Hello, I'm Saladette. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this third presentation of the binomial cube, you will learn why this cube is called the binomial cube, what the algebraic formula for the binomial cube is, how to apply the order of operations in an algebraic formula, PEMDAS, how to insert numeric values into the variables of the algebraic formula, how to calculate the algebraic formula for the binomial cube using PEMDAS. Why is the cube called the binomial cube? The binomial cube is a concrete, real-life representation of an algebraic formula that represents two unknown variables. The term binomial comes from bi, modern Latin, meaning two, and nomial, Greek, meaning parts. In this case, we have named the unknown variables A and B. Basically, the unknown measurement of one edge that is repeated throughout the cube is variable A, and the unknown measurement of another edge that is repeated throughout the cube is variable B. Hello, I'm Salada. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Last time, I taught you how to remove the parts of the binomial cube and place them on the control of error. You will probably have been working a lot with this material in your classroom, and so today we're not going to use the control of error directly, but we'll put it off to the side just to make sure that we lay it out correctly. I'm going to teach you the names of the binomial cube. We can see that this is a cube. All of the sides are of equal dimensions. The length, the width, and the height. The three dimensions are the same. We will call this one A cubed. And this is how we write A cubed. This piece is A squared, but the third dimension is the same as b. So we will call this one a squared b. This is how we write a squared b. This piece is also a squared b, and you can see that this piece is also a squared b. This piece is the same dimension here and here, so we're going to call this B, this dimension. This is B squared A. We don't say B squared A, we say AB squared. This one's also AB squared. This one is also AB squared. And of course, this one is the cube. The length, the width, and the height are all the same but it's the second dimension, so we call it B, we call it B cubed. Now, when we create the algebraic formula for A plus B cubed, which is the cube here, um, we add things together. We can see that we have only one A cubed, but we have one, two, three, A squared B. We have one, two, three, AB squared. And we have one, B cubed. Now, to write the formula for the cube, we say A cubed plus three A squared B plus three AB squared plus B cubed. 
next time, in our next lesson, I will teach you how to input numeric values for the variables of A and B. If you like this lesson, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Before you insert numeric values for the variables, you must learn the order of operations for algebraic formulas. To help you remember, you can use PEMDAS. PEMDAS is an acronym, a word that will help you to remember this complex process. First, you will do the work in the parentheses. Second, the exponents. Third, the multiplication. Fourth, the division. Fifth, the addition. Sixth, the subtraction. And lastly, you will work left to right for the final calculation. Let's insert some numeric values for the variables. We will rewrite the algebraic formula with a value of 5 for A and a value of 3 for B. You may have noticed that there are what look like dots floating in the middle of the numbers. They're actually signs used for multiplication. In algebra, the floating dot is used instead of the multiplication symbol because the multiplication symbol looks too much like the letter X. We can now use PEMDAS to calculate the answer. First, we do the parentheses. You can see here that 5 plus 3 is in parentheses, and you know that 5 plus 3 is 8. Second, we do the exponents. An exponent refers to the number of times a number is multiplied by itself. 8 cubed, or 8 to the power of 3, is 8 times 8 times 8. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5. 5 squared is 5 times 5. 3 squared is 3 times 3. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. Third, we do the multiplication. 8 times 8 times 8 is 512. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. 3 times 5 times 5 times 3 is 225. 3 times 5 times 3 times 3 is 135. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. There is no division in this formula, so we do the addition working left to right. There is no subtraction. 512 equals 125 plus 225 plus 135 plus 27. 512 equals 512. When the equation balances, you've done all your calculations correctly. I challenge you to try different values for A and B. If the equation balances at the end, you calculated correctly. This is what your work for a value of 6 for A and a value of 4 for B would look like. Have fun! Try some two-digit numbers. Look for my other videos of the trinomial cube and its algebraic formula.